Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more witchery here with me, Chillum. And we're going to start off with this little guy, because amongst all the things that we can give him, the diamonds and the emeralds, that was costing a rather a lot. But I discovered blaze rods, counter shinies, and we have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and <laughs> lots of shiny blaze rods for this guy. So... And we keep feeding him him. It doesn't really matter how many we give him because we can just get more really easily. Come back here. You've got a treat for me. I know you have. Have some more. I has a secret to share. Did you poop something out? I wonder what that means. Sometimes he does. Oh, he should do. Now you're bored of shinies. I don't know what you you said you had a secret. Have I missed where you dropped it? Hmm. Do I need to give you something else? Oh, hello. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Oh, we have a scroll of torment. I believe that's the big bad boss. Uh, between episodes, when I discovered that I could blaze rod this guy to pieces um, to get stuff, we actually ended up with uh, the soul of the hunger demon, which we had before, the soul of anguish demon, and we have the soul of the fear demon, which is pretty awesome. And now, to complete the set, let's take a poppet or two out of there while we're here. How many do I need? One, two. Actually, we'll take all three for now. Uh, the Lord of Torment, uh, read this text in a circle of standing stones, beware its explosive entrance. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> we'll do that maybe for the final episode. I'll never defeat the Lord of Torment. I, well, everybody knows how good I am with bosses. Hey, witchy. Anywho, done rather well, I think. That was pretty damn awesome. So, uh, yeah, we've effectively got everything we can get from our little impy buddy. So, get yourself a blaze spawner and just feed him blaze rods. It's the cheapest alternative to diamonds and emeralds. I wish I tried it before. <laughs> Dang it, because we've... We've got very little left. One emerald and four diamonds. Hmm. I have just been cooking up a few more diamonds for some diamond vapor, because we're going to need that for a poppet we're going to make. Uh, and actually, let's uh, hmm, let's start with them, shall we? So we're going to need the refined evil. Look at that. I haven't got none of my stuffs ready. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a drop of luck and a death protection poppet, because that's going to be damn useful, I feel, uh, for sure. Now, the question is... Nuggets. <laughs> just realized. <laughs> nuggets, nuggets, nuggets. Do we have... Oh, we have tons of gold in a different spot. That's cool. We'll grab that. Make ourselves a drop of luck. Uh, yeah, look at that. Tons and tons. How many nuggets do we get? We get nine from each one, don't we? Wow, my Minecraft knowledge <laughs> has just gone down the drain, it would seem. So, let's make a drop of luck, which I think we have two of the ingredients for. Let's uh, check it out again. Go do 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 Drop of luck, we need a tier of the goddess and some mutandis extremis. Now, I don't think we have the extremis variety, but we have one of those. So that's good. Tier of the goddess, was that what it was? Oh, I've forgotten already. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, dush, dush, dush. Tier of the goddess, refined evil, and mutandis extremis. Retandis, blah, blah, blah. Good. We're on it. So, for mutandis, oops. Can me leaving my cauldron empty. It's shocking, shocking work. We have 9,675. It's gone down because... We did trim some shrubbery away, so we don't have the full 10k, but that doesn't matter. So Mutandis, I believe, is just that. Let's sit back and wait for you. Well, Mutandis Extremis, sorry. I wonder if we're going to get... Sometimes we get affected by the things. This infernal circle, as always. Hey, not too shabby. Got that. Lovely. So one of them, we need that, that, and that, and you and you in that order. Okay. So for the drop of luck, let's... Uh, we want infernal. S oh, oh, hello. That's been broken for ages. Oh, interesting. <laughs> huh. What do we know? Let's finish that circle back off again. That's why I haven't been getting caught out by um, ridiculous. Wow, Isn't it by ridiculous effects. But uh, yeah, shows the altar's pretty pokey. I'll do nicely. Right, so uh, yes, let's check the altar. It was nine seven something something nine six seven five. So with an infernal ring and a white circle, we're just going to see. How much a drop of luck costs, so... Oh god, just to make sure, because, you know, I'm terrible at this. Yes, yes. Tear of Goddess, Find Evil, Mutinous Extremist. So, uh, we'll put Q in. Followed by you, followed by you, followed by you, and you. Awesome. Right, that's cooking up. And we'll be able to see how much it costs when it pops out. So, 9675. You'll be able to do the maths properly. I'm just going to take a rough estimate. That wasn't much at all. That's a lot less. So... Ooh, that's probably around 4,000 still. About 4,000 altar power for the drop of luck, which isn't too bad, to be honest. So, that means we can probably make ourselves a death protection poppet. So it was that. Ring of gold. 
Tear of the Goddess in one corner and a Drop of Luck in the other. Oh no, it's Diamond Vapor, isn't it? Ha, you fool of a took. Yes, yes it is, uh, which is why I made some <laughs> in here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Lovely. All right then, Diamond Vapor and the old Poppet. Uh, what am I looking for? The gold to ring it in and bada boom, one death protection Poppet unbound, which is fine. I think we still have some tag locks here. So I'm going to get a couple of these. Let's get two for the time being. Bring it ding ding. Lovely. Death protection poppet bound to. God damn it, witch. Bound to me. And there we go. We cannot die one time. We will not die now. So if we then go back to the voodoo poppet stand here. <laughs> the voodoo poppet stand. Wow. The poppet shelf. And we should place our death protection poppet on here because we don't need to carry it with us, thankfully. Which is all good. But what I want to do is I want to go test out this Earth Protection Poppet because I believe, and I hope I'm right about this because I haven't doubly checked, I believe we can survive a death-like fall if we do that. So we are, I'm looking for specific stuff in here. We need some feathers, which is, which is, which is everywhere. Uh, I think four of those because we're going to make two. Um, do, 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 do. What else was it? Ah, two pieces of clay and two pieces of mud. Now, I know I have clay in here because I saw it before I started recording. Yes. Grab that and two bits of mud. Mud in here. No mud in there. Mud in here. Yes, two bits of mud. Lovely. Alrighty, so if we quickly put this together, and this is the same for all the poppets. We're not going to bother making every single one, but a death protection poppet, rather an earth protection poppet. I'm hoping this is what I think it is, because we're just about to go and test it. Uh, bound to me. So how much do I trust this? <laughs> How much do I trust the fact that I've got the mechanism for this correct? This could cost us dearly. It shouldn't do, but it could do. I want to find a really high death fall. Now we know we know there's definitely one over here because we fell off once as a werewolf slash vampire, I think. Uh, right a boot here. That's that's a dangerous drop right there. Uh, we do have the death protection pocket as well, so even if we do die, we shouldn't die. I'm hoping that our Earth Protection Poppet is what I think it is. Hey! Hey, look at that. It worked. Now, the question is, did it use up our Death Protection Poppet as well? Let's go find out. Hoik. I hope not. I heard a ding, but I'm pretty sure the ding was the Earth Protection Poppet. And bada boom, one Death Protection Poppet remains. That's fantastic. Right. Because I am a klutz, I want to make a spare one <laughs> because it's going to be worth keeping on. So... That's pretty, pretty awesome. Let's get ourselves one more tag lock off our bed. A bada bing, lovely. And connect up our earth protection poppet once again, and we shall place it on our altar. Good stuff. So right in the middle. Ah, oh, look at that. They're so cool. I love the little poppets when they're on the poppet shelf. They look amazing. So we are protected from falling and from some sort of accidental death. In the meantime, look at that. Any keen eyed observer? You may have been paying attention, might have noticed that something weird's gone on over there. And really, that's what all of this gubbins is for here. Uh, I was testing out a few things. Because we've got the big ice globe over there, I was like, wow, I'm pretty sure there's an ice world potion. And there is, and it's kind of expensive. But as a tester, I, I did slip <laughs> and accidentally threw a couple too many around here. But uh, check it out. Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh, I didn't even notice that the... Uh, <laughs> the tree leaves had been changed into ice as well. But I love it. Look, we've got an ice bridge now. That's kind of awesome. This went a bit weird and wrong. <laughs> there are steps. See, look, you've got, you've got step tiles, but these ones didn't change. They sort of went some weird half slabbiness, but never mind. It's all good. And uh, yes, this is what happens when you throw an ice world potion, which is the primary ingredient for is an eye of endo, which I only have one left of. So that's a bit tricksy. But uh, one of the shots when I was trying to decorate, as it were, I was trying to get under here, so I clipped... That nice shot there, but I missed from one over that direction, and we ended up with a pool of ice down below. <laughs> so that's not too bad, and using the old Lumos from our Mystic Branch. Uh, hello, that was a bit weird. Well, while we're here, let's snipe that guy. Doink, lovely. Using Lumos, which is fantastic. Uh, I think we can just drop it over there. Poof. Long range light source, absolutely fantastic. you got to love it. So what I figured... Man, it looks so nasty down there. Hold on. Let's just chuck in... Whoop. Ah, uh, yeah, spire, lovely. What I figured we could do is start working on something inside the sphere, maybe. Just a little bit, for now, because we can. 
there we go. Oh, ow, nasty. But uh, in order to do that, we need to make ourselves some more doohickeys. We've got tons of glass bottles. Went and did some resource collecting. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that's correct. Let's try it out. Now, this is quite a pokey piece of um, brew. Tear of the Goddess, that makes five capacity for this guy. Then we do extended splash range and the final ingredients. And we are cooking with gas or netherrack, really. Cooking with netherrack. Grab all of them. Ooh, our auto power hasn't quite recharged yet. It's pretty pokey. Times five. I don't know. 800. That's pretty slow recharge. I don't know if we can make it faster. There is a right that needs something like 200 power per tick to, uh, well, maybe not per tick, per second, maybe? I'm not sure. It's not in here. Do I have my other book while we wait for the uh, brew to cook? Let's have a look. Where are you? Do, do, do symbology. I should know what these are. Circle magic. There we go. I think at the end of the demon one, there's a particularly heinous, really, really evil spell. And, uh, -wee. Boom. Curse of hell on earth. Only works... In the overworld at night requires 200 power per second. We definitely don't have that, but ho, ho, ho. There's a use for a nether star. And a villager. My god, that'd be insane. So that's that's top tier evil right there. And it's going to be pretty mean. Oh, speaking of, speaking of, it's going to slip in a little clip about here because we did actually get attacked by some uh, witch hunters um, while I was experimenting with mirrors. There we go. Got that. So, yes, enjoy that for a second and I shall meet you at the top of the ice dome thingy. So yeah, it looks like creating those voodoo dolls and all the rest of it, those two poppets, were the reason we got investigated, as it were, by the um, witch hunters. Uh, but they were pretty wussy at this level in time, I guess, because we got the Huntsman's Spear, which is a nice plus eight damage, plus one knockback resistance, which is pretty awesome. Anywho, in here I cleared off an extra layer and I used the old Lumos, and it's the sun nearly right above us, to put some lighting around the top here, which is pretty cool. Ooh. Scared of Jesus out of me. Uh, and what we're going to do is use this old splash brew of the ice world just to ice up and snow up this area a little bit more because I think we could do something cool in here now. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting it to all turn into ice. 
That's even cooler than I was expecting. All right, let's try that again. Aha, so stone turns into ice. Mud turns into snow. That's pretty cool. I'm down with this. For another one here. Oh, hey, we've got a whole ice platform going on in here now. That's spectacular, to be honest. I like that. We have a little bit of mud and stuff. This is quite the expensive potion to use like this. Oh, we've gone outside the boundaries of our sphere. I'm going to have to worry about that, I think. But yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's kind of crazy looking. How deep? How deep did our effect go? That's quite far, I think. Let's quick bruise around. It's quite exciting. So you could do the same with structures. I guess if we built a house in here, something similar would happen. Um, this is going to make an ice mountain if I'm not careful. I think we'll hold off splashing a few more in here for the time being. But that's pretty awesome. What we want to do is maybe chip some of this ice off with a silk touch and just fill in the little gaps in the holes that we've got lying around the outside. Because then we could have a layer of water. Now the issue, unfortunately, with ice in Minecraft is I don't believe ice can be seen through ice, as it were, so... It can? What? Maybe I'm lying. I don't know. Ow. Um, let's hop on out. Pop. We're actually running out of our infusion power. I really want those little hobgoblins to get their butts together and charge up another load. Uh, they can appear to see ice through ice. Maybe I'm just too old school. <laughs> Ancient Minecraft. Uh, it's in there. It's definitely a platform, which is pretty awesome. And you can see how far down it's gone. That's that is sweet. So maybe we can think of something to build in there. I like the idea of having maybe a ring of water around the edge uh, and then an ice type thing in the middle. Who knows? We shall see <laughs> the volcano in the distance. I loves it. That is pretty sweet. So that's the ice world thing. It's quite expensive, but it's not not undoable. Man, Lord of Torment scroll. Hmm. We definitely got, I mean, it seems to suggest that we need to find a uh, witch's circle, which is fine. We've got plenty in the world that we know of. Wouldn't be too difficult to get hold of. And uh, I'm also half expecting the little guy, wherever he is, Harriston Honed, to disappear at some point. I don't believe he has any more gifts for us. Maybe we can chuck him a few more blaze rods and just see. But I think that is the end of his time with us. Oh, no, he's still loads more shinies. And he has another secret. Ooh. What's that? What did you poop out? Two creeper hearts. <laughs> That's amazing. Not bad. So 29, 28 <laughs> blaze rods for some poopy creeper hearts. Got to love it. All right, well, we can stash them for the time being. That's not too bad. Didn't need them. What I really wanted was some demon hearts. I tell you what. I tell you what we'll do. What we should do is if we look for the devil himself. There we go. The devil's tongue charm. Uh, Polynesian charm. Let's see if we've got all of this. I'm pretty sure we have. Odor of purity and whiffs of magic are definitely on the cards. I know we have some of that. Uh, whiff of magic. Man, my stuff's getting full. Odor of purity. Um, let's chuck out the stuff we don't require for the time being. Let's put you in there as well with you. Why not? And throw some other stuff in at the chest here or not. Man, I'm <laughs> just such a mess, honestly. <laughs> Ah, it's all such a shocking travesty of chests and boxes everywhere. Ugh. Right. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yes. Uh, do we get that and that and that and that? So, the Devil's Charm, we need ourselves a fishy and four nether wart, which I've just chucked away. And finding fish is going to be entertaining. I know we have one somewhere. We're going to need a skeleton skull. That's awesome. I'll tell you what, I'll be back in two seconds. Alrighty, I've been missioning around a little bit. I think a day's passed, I'm not even sure. I can't remember. It was another nether hunt for some more ghast tears because I realised we had actually run out of refined evil. We had a demon heart, but now we have the refined evil as well, which is grand. grand. That's all good. Right. I believe we can do what we want to do. So the fishy in the middle, the doohickey around the edgy. We put that at the bottom and two of these... The iron at the top gets us the Polynesian charm. And I believe it looks something like this. Is looking good? Yes. Now that is our last demon heart. And bug it if I can go hunt more bloody ghasts. It's a pain in the butt when you can't fly, to be honest. But we have the Devil's Tongue charm now. I really do wonder what he's going to want to trade. Um, so I'm going to take some blaze rods and hope for the best. And take some slime balls as well, because you never know, he might want some other bits and bobs. Where have you gone, Haristum? Once again, you are there. Excellent, okay. 
I'd like to potter around the old guy, that's for sure. Okay, now, dude, can I trade with you? Because if I can, I want to know what for. Me not like just new shiny things. You definitely don't want to, you absolutely do not want to trade with me. So we cannot trade with the Devil's Tongue charm. All right, well, we have another bunch of blazes. Do you want some now? Yeah, you do. Let's just pump you full of shinies again. So that's 32, and he has a secret to share, and he's pooped out. <laughs> really? An Ent Twig. You know what? You've definitely, you've definitely out, 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 been, out stage your welcome. I think that's what I'm looking for. It'll do. Get away. Well, I could get rid of him now. He's obviously useless. But we have a Devil's Tongue Charm, which is grand. So if we do manage to summon another demon, which I suppose we're going to have to do, because we're going to need some more demon hearts at some point, we can still use that. So that's not too bad. Hmm. Yes. Yes, that's quite good. Okay. Not bad at all. So, yeah, it's looking kind of groovy at the time being. So I'm a little bit miffed. Uh, that guy didn't want any of our goodness, but never mind. I'm not too worried about making other poppets, like I say. Um, I think the falling damage one and the death protection one will do us for the time being. Oh, yes. Maybe maybe we can get some more witch hunts to come with us if we start using the voodoo, the voodoo, the hoodoo that we do so well. The voodoo poppets. I wonder why I didn't work on the villager before. I won't test it on a dog. That would be mean. I don't really want to make another one. Okay, I'm going to disappear for a little while, and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, let's see. We're going to make another voodoo. No, not another voodoo. Another poppet. Um, and we are going to use it for something that's been suggested by a couple of you guys, which is pretty awesome to do with the vampiric poppets. Uh, is that right? And you? I, had, but I was hunting around for string, and I had 30 on me all the time. What is going on? I'm not paying attention. Right. Um, we need Diamond Vapor and Exhale of the Horned one, and a couple of Bat Wings, uh, Bat Furs, Bat Wool even, yes, I know what I'm talking about. So, Diamond Vapor, uh, where are you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we've got some in the, mach in the machine, yes we do. Exhale of the Horned one, that's good, and the Diamonds should be in here, excellent, good, right. Um... <laughs> Let's see if this works. Is this the right thing? I believe it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a vampiric poppet. We're going to get ourselves another tag lock for us. And we're going to need one for our recipient. Who we're going to build. Because, actually I'm not entirely sure. We've got spirit buckets. I went and collected the flowing spirit from... Uh, have I got one of these bound to me? Yes, I have. That'll do. Um, man, we're going to use that at some point. Let's put you in there for safekeeping. <laughs> Ah, I forgot we had that already. Crazy. Uh, what was I going to say? Do, do, do. Yes, I want to find out, first of all, if the flowing brew does what I think it does, because I'm pretty sure it does. If we... Uh, okay, let's place one here. Now, you give me... Da, 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 regeneration, which is phenomenal. So if we put two in here for now, and we get pushed into the middle, that's pretty sweet. And what we are going to do is build ourselves an iron golem. Oh, yes. If we could tag lock him, obviously I'll put him down here. Because, yes, I didn't want to get affected by him. If he does get a bit annoyed by getting tag locked, then yes. Yes, I think we just want to stay well out of bounds. So, if we plonk the head on, there he is. And he's got the regen effect. That's amazing. That's very handy. Can I... Ah, oh, dang it. Can I reach you to tag lock you? Oh, yes, I can. Hello, buddy. That's all right. Are you, are you angry with me? I don't know. You may well be so... Ho, ho, ho. Let's do this on a normal crafting grid because I'm scared otherwise. So we are saying from me to you, Vampiric Poppet, anything damaged to me goes to the Iron Golem. Now we can make quite a few of them. And he is regen, so that's pretty awesome. If we place this back onto... Man, look at that. I can't believe that actually worked. Hey, buddy. You're so going to keep us alive for a while. Oh, yes, you are. That's awesome balls. Okay. Let's go put this on the poppet shelf for the time being, I think. And it does mean that from now on, should we take some damage, it should transfer to the golem, who will regen it straight away, assuming that we have a vampiric poppet on us. And they're not hideously expensive, I suppose. It's a little bit nasty with the diamond vapor and stuff. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, oh, hey, four, four little wee poppets. I love it. That is awesome. So, yeah, if we get hit, we're safe. 
I like it. Oh, actually, I haven't done this for a while, so let's do this while we're here. Get you, you know, friggin' soul sand. Oh, there's another one. Ah, uh, blessed regen. Now that we're not evil vampires anymore, <laughs> we can have the nice buff. That's awesome. Let's see what happens here. Chillum will be inundated with iron. Ah, oh, that's perfect, because we just used the last of our 36 iron pieces on that uh, iron golem. We are pretty skint on resources these days, which is a bit of a shame. Alrighty. I'm going to call it there, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode. It's been a lot of fun. Again, we've played with a lot of new things that we haven't experimented with before in the series. But we are, and I've said it again and again and again, we are coming to the end of this series. I really do want to start wrapping this up as soon as possible because I've been reading up on Britannia. And oh my lordy lordy, I'm very, very excited about getting on with some of that. The uh, I realised the other day, it seems like we've had the Buildcraft 6 series... And then we had the Witchery series, so we've gone from pure tech and item transports and all sorts of mass um, collection of materials to pure magic, where everything is based around this one mod. It's fantastically cool. And I figured Botania sits somewhere between the two. It's got a lot of technological kind of goodness in the middle of it, but it's also beautifully magical and beautiful, at, uh, to be honest. At the same time, the flowers and everything, it is phenomenal. So... Yes, I don't know how much longer we're going to have to go. We have <laughs> the Scroll of Torment. That's going to scare me. This, I guess, could do with some attention before we finish the series. But really, if it's only building that we want to do, then um, I'd rather just move on and start making pretty structures in Britannia. I figure, because people uh, do seem to be quite interested in my crazy little builds, which I, I don't consider myself a Minecraft builder by any stretch. There are countless people out there who build much better than me. Um, but, yes, people seem to like it. So I think for the next series with uh, Batania, because it's so pretty and there is so many good things, and I think Vasky's just added like crazy variants of fence blocks um, to the mod, that we will do some building as well as all the technological stuff at that time. But it's soon, not yet. Let me know what else <laughs> you'd like to see. We've done pretty much everything I can think of mechanically wise mechanically wise wow as far as the game mechanics go for witchery so I am starting to struggle to do anything new stuff like learning the twig and all that kind of stuff is good I do have to point out this is not a complete this series we are not going to do everything that's ever available in any one given mod um, some stuff you guys should go and find out for yourselves <laughs> like you know the other bosses <laughs> but on a note I want to leave you with that we're not going to end it yet, but it is round the corner, ladies and gentlemen. Look forward to Britannia, because that's going to be so much fun as well. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. It's getting kind of repetitive, but it's true. I genuinely do hope you've had a fun time, and I'll catch you here next time. Cheers. <laughs>